What's going on guys, TKD into video, and today I just got done playing some Infinite Warfare Zombies as you see on screen. And you know, to be honest, now look here, I tried Infinite Warfare Zombies at first when the, when the first game, uh, you know, actually was out and everything. Uh, I tried it, you know, I wasn't feeling it at first, but honestly, you know, after playing like for about an hour or so, it's actually not bad. Actually pretty not bad, guys. So definitely, uh, just a quick side note, typing before we get into the video, uh, definitely check out Infinite Warfare Zombies if you haven't. Uh, I know Infinite Warfare is kind of uh, lately right now in the community, but hey, you know what? Pretty good pretty good job now there is a rhyme and the reason why i was playing infinite warfare zombies and that is because i wanted to talk about zombies today and zombies pertain to call of duty and nobody does zombies better than call of duty than treyarch studios now of course of course they're the best at it you know they created it back in world at war uh it was their baby and it's been their baby ever since you know basically world at war you know they started with nazi zombies and it went on to have black ops 1 zombies and black ops 2 zombies which black ops 2 was kind of a uh, point and black ops 3 was so good and zombies you know what i'm saying and uh personally you know my favorite you know storyline arc you know out of all the zombies experiences is by far black ops 1 but black ops 3 is really close there guys like like black ops 3 that storyline is just gotten insane over these past few years and uh it is incredible how you know they can tell such a deep story with all these characters you know when it comes to nikolai richtoff and dempsey and tacky like all these four characters they can tell such a great story through gaming like that's just what you know really is a takeaway here with zombies is something that um they should really be commended for you know what i'm saying but we are going to talk about the notion of a Black Ops 3 DLC 5 as the title states. Now, look here, guys. I'm not trying to clickbait. I'm not trying to over here trying to, you know, mislead you guys. I just want to talk about something, okay? So, a lot of people have been saying and have been rumoring that, you know, Treyarch isn't really done with Black Ops 3, right? Now, of course, uh, if we look back in history, uh, whenever it was the uh, devs' turn uh, to kind of take a, you know, have a step back from their year of Call of Duty, right? When it wasn't their year in the rotation, uh, they wouldn't, you know, talk a lot. They'd be just real quiet, real silent, whatever. Uh, but, you know, Treyarch has really really not been silent and especially they haven't signed with black ops 3 now Treyarch and company you know recently uh released in uh i think it was a few weeks before the year was over uh it was a few weeks before and uh, they released the update for black ops 3 zombies and it actually added a feature called newton's cookbook right and this was basically uh a feature that they wanted to add during the game's life cycle but they just never did and now they just wanted uh, to do it and they actually did so basically newton's cookbook was a way so that you know if you have a lot of gums that you don't use a lot in game, uh, you can combine, you know, a number of them, right, with another gobble gum to create a brand new gobble gum. This is basically a gobble gum generator, basically, in a sense. And they added this in Black Ops 3, you know, it's cool to add it, but what is interesting is that they added it after even the warfare came out they added it you know when it wasn't their time uh in the call of duty cycle for you know them to have their call of duty out in the open and be the brand newest thing and it's very very weird that that you know that they did this because it is not their year it is definitely not uh their time to shine and you know usually uh you know it's been said across call of duty devs that whenever it's not their time to shine they kind of like let the other game uh have their light in the light you know what i'm saying like they let the other game have the credit they you know shout out the other game and they let that game have their year have their shine have their rotation in the call of duty cycle but for some weird you know reason that you know is a lot of probably things that could be you know a lot of different things but treyarch is not letting up on black ops 3 just yet and another example of this is seen when uh it was i believe it was new year's i believe it was new year's eve or new year's day uh they uh did a live stream and they basically uh what they got on you know they didn't announce anything that they were going to do uh specifically in the live stream they didn't say that they were going to say anything in the live stream but then they just you know announced a live stream that we're going to do a live stream okay so the live stream comes around they do it and jason blundell's there and other people that are in treyarch are there on live stream and they basically say a big thank you to the community thank you for supporting black ops 3 thank you for making it a uh, really you know good and great year for call of duty on their end of the spectrum but then they also said and kind of alluded to in a way where as long as you are playing black ops 3 as long as the community is enjoying black ops 3 playing it supporting it 
they will support the game right back and that kind of was a big whoa wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute that's weird that's right you would say that because you know right now technically it's if it, it's infinite war for time to shine it's infinity awards time to let them do their thing let them have their dlc releases and stuff like that but here is Treyarch saying hey listen guys listen if you don't like infinite warfare and you like black ops 3 a lot more as long as you're playing it we're gonna release uh and we're gonna do more things of black ops 3 and whatever that can mean that can mean you know new content new things uh you know in the supply drops or whatever or we can be getting zombies content it took five minutes but it all came full circle guys so why would i say zombies why why kevin like you know why you know what uh you know what intricate things do you have to say to it possibly mean zombies you know what i'm saying well if we look at their Twitter right now, they just released this a couple, uh, actually a couple hours ago as of this recording, and uh, it is January 15th right now. It's January 15th, I think, uh, you know, well, actually, you know, I know on uh, on the day you'll be, you'll be watching this, it'll be a day uh, after this, it'll be January 16th, but beside the point, on the 15th of January, Treyarch tweets out this, January 15th, or as we like to call it, 115. Now, of course, you know, this is just obviously just a little poke at the zombies lore. Element 115, as you guys all know, you guys are aware, you know, big you deal in the zombies universe. It kind of makes everything happen, basically. And, uh, you know, you could construe this as just them poking fun. You know, them just teasing it and being, hey, guess what? January 15th, 1 1, you know, whatever, right? You know, you can get true it that way, right? But then if you scroll up and you look at their Abbey and you look at their banner, and it's a lot of zombie stuff. It's a lot of Nazi zombie stuff. Well, that Ward knocked your own totem, to be exact. And, um, you know, this just seems kind of weird. How they would actually change their Abbey and Banner. You know, usually they don't really change it from the stock things unless something's going on in their media thing. And so it's kind of weird to see this right now. How they're changing it, uh, you know, and it's matching a zombies thing. And they have a tweet that's cryptic right now that you know refers to 115 and they have the abbey and the banner and it's all kind of connecting together and even if you scroll through their twitter even if you see them you know throughout their tweet activity right now uh they're still very active now you know one could say you know yeah they gotta be active with the people that are still playing black ops 3 all that good stuff but you know they are kind of really um unprecedentedly active if you will you know they're they're very much on the ball on their Twitter still, there's still, you know, a lot of things where they're retweeting people's uh, paint shop things and emblem editors and stuff like that. And this, again, still ties into their entire thing where they're basically not really letting up on Black Ops 3 just yet, you know. And so I, you know, if you kind of like look at all the pieces here, if you combine a bunch of things here, uh, could we be possibly getting more Zombies content? for Black Ops 3 in 2017, a year, actually two years, at, no, no, actually, no, uh, one year, wherever you want to look at it, right, basically kind of a year um, outside of their designated area, if you will, in the Call of Duty cycle. Kevin, you're crazy, that's not going to happen, well, let me give you this, right, so if you guys remember here, uh, Jason Blundell, when they were uh, revealing Revelations, they were talking about Revelations, the ending of the story that we've had for eight years now, kind of like, uh, you know, a new chapter's beginning after this Revelation map and uh jason blundell basically said that you know revelations is meant to be a map that is supposed to be played over a long period of time over a couple months he said you know he said that uh this map is not going to be fully uh you know realized and fully discovered within the first month or so this is going to be a long-term map right and you know that can mean a lot of things here like we've gotten a lot of updates here to black ops 3 we've gotten a lot of changes to revelations we've gotten a lot of balancing a lot of tweaking and yeah balancing groups you know are you know those are some things right but then they've you know i believe and i'm mistaken they've even added to the map and specifically talking about you know bug fixes and stuff like that they've even added some new spawn points i know it's on the area by varok in, in a in a revelations where they've added new spawn points for zombies uh to occur you know what i'm saying so there are you know, they are definitely uh you know keep improving revelation to keep changing and stuff like that and you can even give more credence to this theory uh if you look at the comics you know they are just releasing the comics through dark horse right now and uh they are i believe and they're i believe on their second uh issue right now they're on their second issue and uh the 
that was very good. It's telling the story um, of the Black Ops 2 characters with, you know, Rust Man and Misty and all that stuff like that. And uh, there are definitely some story elements going on here. Like, there's there's definitely this thing where Rick Tovin is talking to that one guy, I forgot his name, but, you know, I apologize. But um, he is basically in the head of one of the characters, and, uh, you know, Rick Tovin is basically guiding them through something here. And so this is still adding on to the overall story here, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and this is basically the year where Treyarch is supposed to lay back and kind of just lay low and just, you know, chill, especially with them, because you would expect kind of, you know, Sledgehammer to be, uh, you know, more upfront about the new game and, you know, be the one, you know, a little bit more talking, and they have been talking, but Treyarch really, you know, they're kind of at the back of the line at this point now, you know, their game, you know, just ended their cycle, so technically, they should be the most quietest ones here out of all three devs, but Treyarch is just not shutting up, and um, I believe that there is a reason for this, I believe that, you know, they are definitely doing something here, like, like this isn't a coincidence, because if you guys know Treyarch, you know, if you guys know Treyarch, like I know Treyarch, and a lot of people know Treyarch, like the way I know Treyarch, and uh, they basically do not do anything out of the blue, they don't do anything for no reason, they don't do anything just out of coincidence, like everything they do is carefully calculated, especially things that involve zombies, and we see here, we have this tweet here, we have the Abbey, we have the banner, and we have the new zombies that are coming out in the comics, and we have these updates coming to the game, and then publicly saying that, hey, if you guys like Black Ops 3, we'll keep supporting it and stuff like that, and even them going back from Revelation saying that this Revelation map will last a long time, you know, it's gonna be a lot, you know, it's gonna be a long-term map, not just a short-term map, uh, this is kind of all adding up to possibly be getting, which I believe this is probably gonna be a thing, I'm, I, I'm not sure, guys, do not put my money where my mouth is here, but, uh, if I was a betting man here, I would say that we are going to get another Resurrection DLC. If you guys remember that, that was in Black Ops 1. That was basically where we got the remastered versions of the World at War maps in Black Ops 1. So it was, you know, very, very cool map pack. And could we possibly be getting a resurrection type dlc you know pertain to zombies or something something pertaining to zombies something pertaining to zombies here because i don't know i just feel like that's what's coming here you know and technically if you look into it if you if we are going off that as the correct thing right if we look at revelations there's a lot of map area that they've done from kino to toe in you know what i'm saying from shangri-la like like there's pretty much you know some like they've definitely started on building uh those you know iconic maps and they're in revelations so even with origins as well like they definitely have you know done some work on these old maps and made them new obviously for black ops 3 for revelations so could this possibly be a thing where maybe you know they've restarted and they're gonna actually do it or maybe they're using those assets from revelation that that, that they already created for revelations into these new upgraded hd versions um of you know uh the map packs and if you ask me you cannot do this reservation map pack without ascension ascension is oh my god it's so key ascension is so key to the story and they even like brought back a lot of things uh from ascension you know in block of street and i believe there was a thing if i'm not mistaken where um you know on the poster for ascension it was the one they used to advertise the very first map pack for Black Ops 1 that was called First Strike. And if you look at that poster, I'm going to have it up right here on screen, right? If you look at that poster, the man behind the menace that is zombies, Jason Blundell, right? He, you know, recently, not recently, it was a few months ago, uh, said that the person on the very left. Now, we've all speculated and we've all kind of assumed that that is Rick Toffin, right? You know, and, and you know, and he's bald in this, uh, you know, re of him. And nobody really understood that. Nobody really understood why he was bald here why he didn't have his cap you know the clothes kind of fit but not really you know what i'm saying and he's holding the thunder gun you know what i'm saying and like a lot of people just assumed that that was rick Toffin, right but jason bono actually confirmed that that's not rick Toffin. that's that's not rick Toffin. and they you know never uh even gave any hints to that never gave anything to it and so we're all still speculating who is that like who is that we have dempsey clearly in the middle with the wonder waffle which is you know at that not in the map just keep that in mind. Definitely not on the map. We have Takio and the Nikolai holding the ray gun. And then we have uh, Takio actually holding the Winter's Howl uh, from the map 5, I believe, is where it was from. But we have this mysterious man on the left. And he's bald. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we all thought it was Ray Toffin. But Jason Blundell drops a bombshell on us during Black Ops 3. That guess what? That's not Rick Toffin. 
who is that? That's why I'm begging for an Ascension remake. That's why I want Ascension to be included. If we ever get a DLC Zombies for Black Ops 3, I really want Ascension to be back. Now, if we were to get this incredible DLC 5 with Zombies, probably me may, probably not. I don't even know. This is all just speculation. Let me know what you guys want to see in the map pack. Let me know what you guys want to see in the top four maps uh, in the map pack for Resurrection for Black Ops 3. Do you guys want to see, I don't know, do you guys want to see Transit? <laughs> Nobody, want, nobody wants Transit. Nobody wants Transit. And let know if you guys enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, share always down below. I appreciate all of you guys see me. Thanks for watching. And as always, I got you.